my wife and I really, really like the pickup service for uh, Walmart. You order your groceries on the app or the internet, and uh, they tell you when they're ready, you go pick them up, you pull up in a certain spot, they bring your groceries out and you leave. You're usually, by the time you park until you leave, it's usually no more than five minutes. But anyway, a little mom and pop grocery store, that's what I would call it. There's probably 10 or 12 of them, I'm guessing. Hayes, here in Northeast Arkansas, they do this now, which really surprises me. So I'm gonna try them for the first time. Why? Because they have a relish that I absolutely love and I don't know anywhere else you can get it. Anyway, we're going to Paragold, Paragold, Pla Paragold Plaza, Paragold, Arkansas to pick it up at four o'clock. Now, they have a pickup fee, $4.95, but they also waived it. I don't know, I'm hoping it's not because it's my first order. I'm hoping that uh, they never charge. If they do, it won't work because Walmart is free. Kroger charges either $5.95 or $6.95 for this service, and they started doing it before Walmart. Now that Walmart does it for free, I submit to you, that everybody else is gonna be required to do it for free if there's a Walmart in your area. You're not gonna have a choice. That's what's great about competition. Is it um, <clears throat> makes ever it's competition is an awesome thing for consumers. But yep, right there. Order's ready. It says uh well, curbside is completed and ready for curbside pickup on at four o'clock. Please park in the specially Specially marked reserved for Hayes clicks order shopping. Oh my gosh, I thought I could read. Please park in the specially marked reserved for Hayes clicks online shopping parking spaces in our parking lot. These spaces will be painted green and marked with a Hayes click sign. Then call the phone number indicated on the sign and we will bring the groceries out to you. The only thing is, it says ready for pickup and it says at four o'clock, but I'm sure I can go now. I mean, it says right there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head out here in a few minutes. Why wait? By the way, it's 216, so they got it pulled pretty quick. I'm guessing I probably didn't order it, but probably 30 minutes ago. Whee! Going to get these groceries in my 2015 Chevy Volt. Okay, on the way to Hayes to get the uh, groceries, I'm gonna talk about uh, Walmart's pickup, which I, it's the only thing we've ever done. Walmart, they explained to us that when they pour your food, if it's a cold item, such as milk or ice cream, they have a timer as they're pulling it. They hit that timer, they have 20 minutes to either hand it off to the customer or it has to go back into the freezer or the uh, walk-in. And I think they've built freezers and walk-ins by the door around the side of the building where they bring out these uh, groceries to people. They put new walkers and walk-ins and freezers there when they gather people's food. I assume they put them in the appropriate place. And then Walmart though, when your order is ready, you'll get a push notification on your phone and an email saying, hey freak, come pick, these, come pick this order up. You'll uh, show up to get the, uh, to get the when you, you tell them, before you leave, you hit something on your app that says, I'm on my way. And then they know, they're they watching for you, I guess. They probably have cameras. And they know when you pull in, they just bring it out to you. You don't have to call or anything. I'm thinking there may be a spot on the phone that says, I'm here. And every time I hit, I'm here, it says, next time to speed things up, let us know when you're on your way. And I'm always thinking, I did. But anyway, they always get, get it out quickly, within a few seconds of when you pull up. Here is different. Of course, you can't expect a small organization like Hayes, which seriously is probably 10 or 12 stores, I'm guessing, to compete with Walmart. And I really like, I really like to uh, patronize the smaller companies. It's not always possible because prices are usually more. And, you know, when you're living on a budget, you know, it's hard to go somewhere that you'd rather go to if the prices are higher. One thing I like about Walmart, tipping is not allowed. I love that. No tipping. They're not even allowed to take tips. I hope Hayes has the same policy. If not, whoever brings it out is sure gonna be disappointed. I hope my camera's at a good angle. I wasn't able to see it. I had to turn it real quick toward the road. But here's Hayes. Here's where we're picking up our groceries. 
it's one of the few grocery stores in the area where they automatically bring you take your food out to the car you know if you go inside and get it they have like they used to every grocery store used to do this they'll uh take your food out for you and load it up for you now let's see where these parking spots are i forgot what they said ah down there i bet these people are always really nice here hey lady what's the matter with you poor old lady can't hardly drive there we go right here Reserved for click and online shoppers. <laughs> All right, let me give them a call. Hey, Plaza, can I help you? Yes, my name is Jimmy McFink. I'm here to pick up my order. Okay, hold on just one moment. We'll have it right out for you. Thank you, ma'am. That was easy enough. Let's see how long it takes them. I should have uh, actually time. I got a timer right here. And go. It's going to be a few seconds off, but it's close enough. Dang, 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 dang. One minute and 13 seconds so far, but I figure they have to go to the back to get it. You know, then push it all the way through the store. Where Walmart is right there by the side exit door. Plus, Walmart has people that's devoted to this and only this. Because at Walmart, all their spots are filled. You can't even pick up an order at Walmart in our area for usually at least the next day early in the morning if you do it right now you might get a spot early tomorrow morning and they have people that do nothing but this Hayes they probably have to pull somebody up of another job and here comes the young lady now gonna be about two minutes and 30 seconds by the time she gets to the car 214 now hello Hi, just put it in the back seat if you don't care on this side Thank you, ma'am. On, on the relish you wanted, we only have one of those. That's fine. Is there something else you'd rather have? No, no, no. Y'all just took it off, I guess, right? Yeah, I just didn't charge you for it. Okay. All right, appreciate okay, it, ma'am. Have a good day. Uh, the relish is the only reason I even came here, but at least I got one. That was easy. It didn't take very long. She was nice. Like all the employees here are. One thing I like about Hayes, they're so nice, but their, their prices are usually a little bit expensive. But now if you look at their ad every week, they've always got good prices. If you just come here and buy stuff without looking at the uh, price on the shelf, whatever you want, you're probably gonna pay. I'm just making a wild guess here. 10, 15, maybe even 20% more than Walmart. At least 10, I would think. But I like it. I, I like supporting smaller companies if I can. And I like the fact that I was able to get my groceries in an hour. That would not have happened at Walmart. At Walmart, I could not have gotten a jar of relish without getting my crippled butt out of the car, grabbing my wheelchair and going inside and actually getting it. Which this service is really great for people who have mobility problems. You know, a friend of mine said, called it something for lazy people. He said something to the effect of, I cannot believe people are so freaking lazy they can't go inside the store and get their own groceries. That's before he knew that that's the way my wife got her groceries. <laughs> I tell you, well, that's what Bam does. You know, but he views it as something lazy people do. I view, view it as a convenience. I like it. And like I said, it's going to be huge. I should have mentioned something. You know, when she said that uh, they only had one relish, but I like something else. Here's the way Walmart does it. I do like this better. Walmart automatically gives you something else. I don't think that Pam has ever been there where they've just taken it off, but I could be wrong. But usually they'll give you something else if it's the same or better. So they probably would have brought out a different brand 
you know, maybe even a larger jar, you know, that costs more money at Walmart. And they would have said, hey, we only had one relish you wanted, so we brought this. Do you want it? And if you say yes, then they go ahead and put it in your car and you go along your way. If not, they have the little handheld machine and go ahead and take it off right there. You know, again, you can't expect Hayes to uh, pay for that kind of technology. That's the way Walmart does it, which I like better. You know, there's been a lot, there's been a few times we can get half a gallon of chocolate milk or half a gallon of white milk. I don't know about white, but we've gotten half a gallon of chocolate milk before. Two or three times they bring out a gallon because they're out of the half a gallon. We've ordered off-brand stuff before and they bring out name brand stuff because they were out of the off-brand. Or they, you know, before they brought out, say a 32 ounce package instead of the 16 ounce and charges, that's another thing. They charge the same price. At Walmart, if they bring you out something to cost more, that's right, they charge you the price of the what you actually ordered the, the lesser price which is really awesome you get a gallon of milk for the price of half a gallon that's incredible Hayes evidently don't do that but Hayes is quicker Hayes is quicker like I said I got my food super quick compared to Walmart okay two Hayes and back with 4.2 miles 0.9 kilowatt hours used at six and a half cents per kilowatt hour that cost we might as well say six and a half cents Okay, six and a half cents is what it costs to get there and back. Now, if it had been a gas car, I don't know, my wife's SUV, which is pretty good on the highway, but in town it does not. My wife's SUV in town gets about 16 to 18 miles to the gallon. Okay, so she would have burned, my gosh, you know she would have burned about a quarter of a gallon of gas? Jeez, about 60 cents. About 10 times more in that SUV than in this car to go to the grocery store. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get these groceries in. I know I can. I'm not sure I'm going to even try. Part of it's glass. And I'd hate for that glass to... I'm afraid the bags will shake. And glass will hit each other. And just going to be a mess. If I really need both hands, I can do it with one. It's not that easy, but I can. Jeez! Okay. Oh, God, Christ. Hope I didn't break it. That sounded pretty loud. Okay. Jeez. That glass didn't sound good. I sure hope it ain't broken. If it is, I did it, not them. I should have just waited until my wife got home. She could have brought it in. I don't have anything that needs to be refrigerated in here. Jeez. So right there, I usually catch it with my foot. That usually helps. Oh, hang on. With one hand, it's a lot easier, believe me. Ah! Got it. Oh, okay. Nothing broke and everything is here. What you see here cost $29.82. A alleged savings of 32%. And this relish is the main reason I went. Man, I love this relish. I've tried their pickles. I didn't care for them, but I love that relish. Here's something else to think of. Ordering your food in this way where you order it and you go pick it up and then bring it out to your car it cuts down cuts down on impulse buying it does so that can save you some money and that's a negative to the store probably one reason why they would rather not do this but um, commerce changes capitalism changes things change retail changes people change and good companies change along with them bad companies Sears who don't adapt go out of business simple as that you have a great day and thanks for watching i appreciate it